Um, should we figure out the exact number using the equations? Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish that off then. Um, how can we use the equations now to get the exact answer? It's good that you saw we had to do a unit conversion to make these two things consistent. Okay. So now we need how much of the activity is present. It means that we need to find A. Right. Good. And for A, will we use two, um, one of our AO, I mean A to the sub zero, and E to the negative KT. But again, we first start to find K. That's right. You can go from here and use a similar equation. So ln2 divided by 1.1 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 div
And does that match our prediction? Well, we were predicting it would be between these two. If you check the prediction, you would see you left off the 10 to the 7. Your prediction was pretty good. You said it would be in the 2s. And this is around halfway between these two. So our table gave us a, a fairly good prediction here. But the only way to get the exact answer is using this. Um, all right, so I think you're making good progress on using these equations. So this point here would be about 2.96. If you made the graph, we've gone from here to here, except actually we've gone to around a hundredth of where we started. So we should be even closer down to the horizontal axis. We've used up almost all of the original amounts. This seems like a big number, but it's pretty small compared to 10 to the ninth. Um, all right, so what gave you trouble? Not too much. Now you would still have to do the unit conversion here because T is in days. So you have to have a K that's in days. So you had to change the half-life from hours to days. You would still would have had to do the unit conversion. So these cancel. But it doesn't mess us up that this is in seconds, because it's not interacting with these numbers. Um, the one thing that gave you trouble was confusing t and t one half over here. So we have to label everything very carefully. You did label these correctly, though we have to be careful when we're using them yeah. as we go through the problem. And then you plug everything in well. Incidentally, you could have done this in one step on your calculator if you put parentheses. But some people don't like doing that, so you can do it in separate steps. That's fine um, as well. All right, now let's see how to get out of scientific notation on your calculator. Um, so you want to hit the mode key again. Normal. Just go to normal, hit enter, and, and now how do we get out of that by quitting? Okay, good. These videos are offered on a pay what you like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There's a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos.htm or you can just use the link in the info box. Thank you.